Hello everyone, let's learn how to differentiate between the various types of shock. First, let's talk about hypovolemic shock. The only point that you guys need to remember is that patients with hypovolemic shock will have cold peripheries, which means that the peripheral vascular resistance is high and the capillary refill time is prolonged. Now copy the same features onto cardiogenic or the obstructive shock. Now, how do you differentiate between cardiogenic and hypovolemic shock? Remember that patients with cardiogenic or obstructive shock will have elevated levels of JVP, whereas it will either be normal or low in patients with hypovolemic shock. Now, septic shock is the complete opposite of hypovolemic shock. So, peripheral vascular resistance is low, they will have warm peripheries and capillary refill time is short. Now, copy the same features onto neurogenic shock. So how do you differentiate between septic and neurogenic? You're going to look at heart rate. Neurogenic shock is the only shock which presents with bradycardia. Rest all the shocks will either have normal or increased heart rate. That means tachycardia. Now what is the only one that we have left out? That is the anaphylactic shock. So how do you differentiate anaphylactic from septic? Please remember all the features will be the same except that in the question they would have also mentioned there will be some history of insect bite or blood transfusion. If that is there, then the answer becomes anaphylactic shock. And that is how you differentiate between the various types of shock. Thank you.